probably think I scam or whatever because I'm younger. Dang, we just messed up. We just let this person get away with the vehicle or whatever. So we just gonna come up with something and uh, and tell him to bring the car back. And then the thing about it, the dealership let me drive off of the lot in this vehicle right here. The same vehicle that y'all see. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dude Hemi, man. I'm back at it again with another banger video, man. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe, man. In today's video, man, I will be telling y'all, boys, how I came about getting this Dodge Charger Scat Pack 2020 wide body, man. I would say I was lucky. I was blessed, man. That's that's the first thing, man. Give it all to God, man. Anything you want in life, man, give it up to God, and you will get it, man. But, man, like I just said, man, if you're new to my channel, don't forget, like, comment and subscribe we are on the road to that big 20k subscribers man y'all boys check out the whip man i did watch it but you know is a if you are on the east coast i guess hurricane debbie man big debbie cakes finna come and you know do its thing man so it's it's kind of wet and rainy man and when i watch my car it's see i got a little bit of mud streaks man but you know it is what it is man but me, y'all boys check out my 2020 wide, wide body scat pack, man. Without further ado, man, I'm going to jump straight into this video and tell y'all boys just a few little things about the car, how I came out, how I came about uh, obtaining the car and all that things, man. So y'all boys just stick around, hit that sub button, like, comment, share, man. And let's get it, man. First thing first, man, a little background of me, man. I started off with, a, I would say, a Jeep Patriot. I had a Jeep Patriot. 2013 so man hey somebody you got to start uh somewhere man whatever matter of fact comment down below what car y'all boys own right now or started off with man and let's just see that progression man so like i just said i started off with a jeep patriot 2013 man i had that jeep patriot for a, a couple years man i used that jeep patriot to freaking build up my credit my jeep patriot is probably about like ten thousand. so i helped that um I help I use that to help build up my credit and I start building up my credit I would say with that Jeep Patriot it didn't really get me into the to the to the good like eyes of the banks as uh, I can handle a loan like this so but then with that being said between the Jeep Patriot and my scat pack I did have another vehicle that kind of got me in that aspect as in okay he, he he's responsible enough to handle handle uh these type of car payments and things like that man so i uh i end up trading the jeep patrick in and if y'all boys don't know or if you're new to the channel if or if you want to see right now you go back you go to go on my shorts and go all the way down probably to about one of my first two shorts on this channel man you will see i had an rt durango it was cherry red man so yes i did come from an rt it wasn't a charger but it was an rt durango man I did have uh, on that RT Durango. If I got any videos or clips, I'm probably gonna put them in the video, man. But I had uh, five inch tips. They was like blue, uh, stainless steel, like blue looking. Uh, once I gave it to my wife, we did end up getting a wrap on it. So I would put uh, how it looked when I had it and then how it looked when she had it. I had, it, I had tire stickers on it. We did have rims on it. And then when she got it, she wanted to get it wrapped. So y'all would see all that, man. So. Yes, I did go to the Durango RT from the Jeep Patriot, man. So jumping from the the, uh, the Jeep Patriot to Durango, that kind of uh, even helped me boost my credit even more as I paid on a Durango. And it brought me like a little bit more like, I guess you can say history or relationships with the bank as in, okay, he's able to handle these type of payments and things like that. That's all it's about, man. It's about, they want to know, can you handle these payments? And sometimes, like, a lot of people are going to be like, well, get your credit up, get your credit up uh, so you can have a lower int a low interest rate, man. Depending on the market, the economy, no matter, I don't know, I'm not, like, hey, I'm, I'm not, like, uh, I'm just saying from what I know. So don't use this, I don't know, you probably have a different relationship with, with, the, uh, with the car dealership that you're going to or whatever. But more than likely, man, kind of no matter what your credit score is depending on the market it's going to be a limit it's, it's going to be like a cap on like what type of interest rate you get like right now man in the market you probably you're not going to get like a a two percent interest rate right now 
it's just what it is, man. So you can't say, somebody can't say like, oh uh, yeah, man, you let the bank, uh, you let them get you or whatever. Nah, it's not that. It's just when I, when you got your vehicle and when I got my vehicle, the economy was in two different types of uh, uh, uproars, man. Th that's all I, that's how I can put it, man. So if you got the best that you can get out of whatever time, like whatever is going on in that economy, that's all that kind of matter, man. And you will be good because you're not going to probably get that three that people in 2019 or 2018 was getting so uh pre-pandemic man so hey it is what it is get what you can get and if you're able to handle it handle that then that's cool that's all that matter man if you can handle it if it's not putting you in the financial bind man everybody don't know your pocket so man if you're able to like i said if you're able to handle it get it as long as you're not putting yourself in the financial bond man so yeah, man, like I was saying, I uh, had the Jeep Patriot, then I pulled the, uh, you know, the trigger on getting that Durango. And then after the Durango, we actually had the Durango in the scat pack at the same time. My wife didn't want the Durango no more. Um, so she got a, she got a, she got a car. I'm not going to disclose what type of car she has. If you go on my channel, you probably will see it or whatever. But I end up getting the scat pack right here, man. Um, out of North Carolina, North Carolina, man. It's not actually in the city that I'm in. But that's another thing, man. Do your homework, man. Sometimes you have to go a little farther out just to get what you want, man. Dealership that was right where I was at was like for the same car with more miles was charging me like way more, man. So I did a little bit of research, looked around, and boom, we ended up with this thing right here, man. Craziest thing ever, man. So. When we got this vehicle, I told you everything was already it was clean or whatever. That this the dealership let me drive off of the lot in this vehicle right here. The same vehicle that y'all see. They let me drive off of the lot with this vehicle, as in everything has got approved and all that, man. And I was actually going to do a video to see how much a dealership will um I, I, uh, I so I got this car and then I took this car to a dealership to see how much they will appraise the car for just to, to get a video out and as i'm doing a video i don't even know I, I think the video is out but as i'm doing the video i got a call from the dealership that i got the vehicle from saying hey you need to bring the car back something didn't go through with the bank that uh that we chose or whatever luckily me being me i'm always a step ahead i went to the dealership and tried out their banks to see what they can get me they got me something that was okay i was cool with it so i went with their bank but me being me on the back end i already had done uh, squared it away and had everything situated with my own bank just in case something like this happened so when they said they couldn't something with the bank it didn't go through or whatever all i did was so where i'm at right now is is no the bank that i'm with is no, those banks not here but it's one in another state which was okay, which was okay. I got in my, I got in my car, drove to the other state, went and picked my check up, drove all the way back to North Carolina, went to the dealership, here y'all boys go. And that's how you make them look stupid. I brought them the check, y'all said I wouldn't, I wouldn't approve with y'all bank cause some, some reason, here you go, here come the check, which I should have did in the first place, man. If you got a good relationship with your own bank, go ahead, look at the car, Look at the finances, how much is it, how much it is, man. And go ahead and uh, take out that loan or whatever, finance it through your own bank. And then when you walk in there, boom, you just handed them the check and they doing the paperwork. You, it ain't no calling around with the banks and all that. You already got that squared away situated, man. Which I did do, but I never, uh, so, so, so you can apply for a loan, but you don't have to actually go through with it or pick up the check. But. Luckily, I did. I already did that, so the process wasn't like so long or whatever. And all I had to do was just go to the state, pick it up, bring it back, and take it to. I didn't even tell them what I had going on. They thought I was coming back to bring the vehicle or whatever. And you see how it turned out. And hey, what can they say? Here you go. Here come your. Here come your money ons. I'm taking my vehicle. And I just feel like it was a messed up situation on um, what happened because that's kind of embarrassing like they probably thinking like man i'm not even gonna lie y'all boy y'all boys see like it's it's, it's like stereotypes y'all some y'all see somebody like me in person i have uh locks dreads 
whatever you want to call them, man. I drive a Charger. You probably think I smoke, which is people who do smoke. It ain't nothing wrong with that. But you probably think I'm hood. You probably think I'm ghetto. I'm not, bro. So they probably think I scam or whatever, because I'm younger. Probably think I'm scam. I don't do none of that. People who do that, that's them. It, hey, people, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. I don't got no problem with it, but just don't try to like stereotype someone because that's what you feel like. And you just thought stuff. I don't know. I don't know if they thought I was just dang, we just messed up. We just let this person get away with the vehicle or whatever. So we just gonna come up with something and uh, and tell him to bring the car back. And then the thing about it, so I told y'all, uh, one of the cars that we uh, traded in, well, I traded in the, what did I trade in? Matter of fact, no. When I had the Durango, I had the Durango in the Jeep Patriot at the same time. I had the Durango in the Jeep Patriot at the same time. So I traded in the Jeep Patriot, and then they was trying to say, hey, my vehicle was already gone. Like, they said my vehicle was gone, but they want me to bring this back. Are you crazy? My vehicle gone, but you want me to bring this back? Come on, man. I don't care if it's a Jeep, Patriot, or whatever. Compared to Scat. Y'all about to give me something. But luckily, man, I was I had all, I was already two steps ahead, man. And I was able to do what I had to do, man. But, man, if you made it this far in the video, man, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, man. Leave a, Please leave a, uh, a comment. Please like the video, man. It don't cost to like the video, man. I'm trying to get in the algorithm. Uh, so just like the video, man. And yeah, just look at the vehicle, man. This is the vehicle. I'm gonna give y'all boys a cold start. It's not a cold start because I literally just got out the car from driving. Let's hear it, man. There we go, y'all boy. There we go. Let me go ahead and get the thumbnail, y'all boys. Boom, we got the thumbnail. But like I said, man, if, if, if you had a situation or anything that happened to y'all like this, man, how would y'all like would have handled that situation or something like that, man? Comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts on my story. Did I handle was, was, did I handle it in a, in a perfect way? Was I good because I was a step ahead? And do y'all think the dealership was some bull crap? And I should have just let the car go back and took my money somewhere else, man. <laughs> y'all boys comment down below. And I'll catch y'all boys in the next video on game. Let's get it.